Okay, so how to photograph a baby sitter session, like a portrait session of a baby who's already walking. Uh, so how do you get the baby to stay in one place? So you can take some portrait photos, like some close-ups, some full body shots, some just some fun diversity in your gallery, how to do it if they keep running away. So today I have a little boy coming in and his mom really wanted to book a sitter session. However, most sitter sessions are for babies between seven and nine months old, pretty much. So they just learned how to sit by themselves, uh, but they can't walk yet. Some don't even crawl yet. So they'll just sit there smiling, being happy. You can sing songs, play peekaboo. Uh, you can place them on their tummy, uh, maybe even on their back so they can you know, grab their feet. So it's quite an easy age, age to photograph. In this case, the boy is already a year and a half, but the mom still really wanted to book a sitter session, like a portrait session. Uh, the mom is actually like an old friend of mine. So I used to do gymnastics with her when we were like 10, 11, 12 years old. And we went to the same school. I haven't seen her now in like... 15 years uh, but she emailed me that she has a little son she lives in the UK and she's here in the Netherlands visiting her family um, so she wanted to book a session so we're just gonna try it today try to keep the baby in one spot to take some photos I mean he can move around but it would be nice that he doesn't leave this set within a second so that I can take a few more photos uh, but we'll see how it goes so coming into the studio you see here outfits well the good thing is is that he will still be able to fit uh, these outfits so that's no problem changing table we might use it we might not some babies when they're a little bit older they don't want to be changed on the changing table she can change change him where she wants so we have four sets here and what I try to do is I try to place him in like bigger bowls so like higher bowls uh, this one is from Ikea it's like a banana leaf bowl it is a little bit more like lightweight so either you place some weights inside to weigh it down or you have the mom sitting right next to the basket so she can like hold the basket in place if the baby starts leaning forward try to distract him a little bit with a hat babies love to pull off hats uh, maybe like a rocking horse so that you entertain him a little bit for the second before, which is the dark wood I have another bowl so either he climbs out but that gives me a few seconds to take photos while he's climbing out it will stay seated inside. So this one is really heavy by itself. Um, they used to um, use these kind of wooden baskets to make cheese in. That's what someone told me. I bought it at like an antique market. Um, if he's, you know, not really enjoying it, maybe give him a plant to hold because that might uh, distract him a little bit. Again, maybe a hat that he can pull off. Uh, also, I have a little chair here that he can sit on. Usually babies, like a year and a half, two years old, they love sitting on chairs. If he's still really tiny and his feet won't um, reach the floor, I might not do it because I don't want him, of course, to fall forward. But again, the mom will be right next to him. And then here we have the mint green situation. So I have two options. I either place the baby in the bucket. It will be really hard for him to climb out of this one. So he'll probably just stay inside, which would be great. I have a blanket inside, I have some weights inside. So this one will be safe. And then here, this one will be easier for him to climb out, but it'll be fun as well because he can play with it. So these kind of baskets are great. It's like a wire basket. Uh, I think I just got it at like a garden center. Uh, but yeah, he can play with it. So I'll show the baby this and then hopefully he will do it as well. Again, a little hat for him to pull off maybe. Um, it's also nice if you have like a wooden toy that matches the decor so they can play with something. This will be the most challenging one because there's nothing here. I just want him to sit here. Maybe he can crawl forward, um, lie on his back. I don't know, but there's nothing here yet because I also want some photos without buckets. Uh, so yeah, try to use like bigger props. So usually what I do um, when I want them to look at the camera, I have this little wooden toy. Uh, in some decors they can even hold it because it really matches the decor. I have like this wooden uh, camera as well, like a toy wooden camera. I'll place a photo in the screen right now. You can get it anywhere on AliExpress. If you type in like wooden camera, uh, you'll get it there. And it's really cute for the babies to hold as well because they're doing a photo session. Um, yeah, if they start like biting into everything, like drooling on it, holding it in front of their face, it's maybe not the best idea. Then a quick DIY. Here I have a little toy with like uh, these wiggly eyes, wiggly eyes, that's what they're called. So you can buy these kind of wiggly eyes. Here you see them. 
uh, they're kind of like cute normally you can hold them like on your hand um, so what I did is I have here um, like a cleaning device <laughs> uh, so this is something to clean with and yeah you can actually like it's like a telescope um, handle I don't know um, and I just added the eyes onto it so it's kind of like a cute little uh, worm let's call him a worm right now uh, and even like the mom can stand behind me and like tickle the baby with it uh, but she has to stand like immediately behind my head pretty much so when he looks at her he actually kind of like looks at the camera I can hold it as well while taking the photos uh, but you know if you can work together with the parents it's sometimes easier so it's a very DIY you just buy like um, a, du a dusty dust, dust thingy and then you add like the eyes and it's kind of cute and you can tickle the babies and hopefully they'll like it and they'll smile at you yeah hello I might use it today as well hello <laughs> he's very cute uh, so yeah very easy to make yourself uh, I had a pink one as well I don't know where I went but this one's good for today nice to see her again we also took some portraits of her with her son and her mother and uh, her son so the three generations uh, I filmed snipped some bits so you could see that he really liked my worm so I actually placed on Instagram as well a little bit about my worm and I asked people to uh, give me options for his or her name uh, so it might have a name by the time you're watching this video but for now it's just a worm um, so yeah, he really liked it so he was really responding well to it it made him smile he was actually such a sweet boy who kept <laughs> in one well like he stayed seated for most of the time like in the with the last the course he wanted to walk away but even on his tummy I could take some photos um, of him lying pretty still he really loved my little toy as well so we just had you know had him hold it in a few photos 
um, but I think I captured some really good ones. The chair was perfect, perfect size for him. So he turned one in June. It is the beginning of October, like the 2nd of October. So that age works perfect with like a little chair. Um, but he was just a happy, smiley kid. And of course, yeah, he was crawling away and he was standing up and walking away, but I could still take a good amount of photos of him with the help of this worm. Uh, he did not really like to have like heads on his head, so he kept like pulling them off really fast. But I think I also have a few photos of him like wearing his head. Uh, the first outfit he was wearing was what the mom brought with her. Uh, the other ones were mine in combination with his own romper and what well, we just made it work. Um, so very cute little boy and it worked really well. So yeah, super easy DIY. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. I love reading your comments and then hopefully I can see you in the comments section and you can see me in my next video. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.